Uh, hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, Prinhounda. Farmer Ben here once again. Uh, now, before we go too far into this video, let me just have a quick, excuse me, a quick look around my base and then we'll move on to the main point of this video. Uh, now, uh, a few people were asking me about uh, levelling up their hunter's lodges to build the next set of Titan items, uh, Titan battle items you can build. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. You will see here that the uh, the Hunter's Lodge, to upgrade it, requires the phenomenal amount of 2323k of iron. Now, 2323k of iron is more than your base can hold until you have built uh, this advanced iron storage. And even then, it's not enough. You have to upgrade it to level 2. You have to have a level 2 iron storage before you can get up to the amount of iron that you need and i now can uh, have capacity for two three three five k iron so because it's all taking a time it will be a little while um before i can upgrade my uh hunter's lodge again uh in the, in the meantime uh, in the meantime sorry as you can see my iron mine here in the middle is is being upgraded there may be a slight pause in the upgrading of my various buildings because at some point fairly soon I will be needing to uh, take part in the challenge event, which I believe is starting on Thursday. I'm not entirely sure which challenge event it will be, um, but we will go from there. Now, um, this video, I also, well, basically now uh, let's move on to the actual crux of the video. Now, sadly, the crux of the video, the main point is that I wish to apologise. Uh, I do wish to apologise profusely. Um, I've always said that whether things went badly or went well, I would try and record them and uh, post them the same so that you would always have a fair uh, view of what happened to me. Um, unfortunately, today in the tournament, things went very, very badly wrong for me. <clears throat> and um, I did sadly find myself swearing at the screen most profusely, which I decided was not really suitable for a YouTube video. Um, I am not uh, particularly averse to swearing, but I do tend to try and keep it away from my videos for various reasons. But uh, I do know my children tend to uh, have a look and see what I've done. So I do do avoid swearing in my videos as much as I can. But anyway, let me explain uh, a little bit about what happened. So uh, I, won't, I won't dwell on that just for a second. Uh, my defences, as you can see, are not holding up too well. Um, sucking a bit, well, sucking more than a bit, E-rated defences, so, so they are sucking. Um... I thought I'd got quite a good balance, but I'm guessing I haven't quite got it right. Uh, Kirill, uh, another Kirill. Blue, blues, I have gone heavy with blues because nobody can take greens, but I guess that just leads you to something. Maybe I should have gone with more reds. Uh, either way, uh, it hasn't been a totally successful uh, defence team, so uh, that hasn't been very good. Uh, the first day of the raid tournament went incredibly well uh, with five wins. Um, five wins out of five, uh, and that's really what I was aiming for. Excuse me. Uh, it's what I was aiming for in the video I was going to do for you. I was going to go, oh, look, here we are. I've got five wins. Let's see what I'm doing right. And then sadly today uh, it changed and I did everything wrong. And uh, partly I was a victim of my own complacency. Now, you can see that of the five uh, raids today or one hour ago, uh, I won two and lost three, which is a really poor return. And obviously if I was going to do that uh, every day, then I would be out of every tournament in the first two days. Um, normally I like to try and at least make day three or four. So I was a little bit sad that this happened. Uh, it's, it's really worth just quickly exploring what happened. So if I go into Balmaya, um, this guy, yeah, not too bad. Uh, I demolished, uh, Wukong. I never like him as a tank. I will be honest. I took two debuffers and got rid of him fairly quickly. And then the rest of the team sort of fell apart from there. Wako 84. Uh, and I suspect this is true of a few of them. Two healers. Uh, two healers was really my undoing. Uh, particularly Rigard. I just could not defeat Rigard. Uh, and that was largely because I only had two snipers on my team. Uh, and looking back, um, with the benefit of hindsight, I should have taken another sniper or like a weakener. So I should have taken somebody like Gormek or Grim to back up. I think it was Sonya and uh, Chow. So probably should have backed him up. I could have done with more punches. Uh, Topak um, was more or less the same story, only this time it was uh, Kirill uh, that was causing me all the trouble. Again, I needed a way to really defeat him um, more quickly. Uh, again, Wukong in the centre there, not a massive problem. I think on all of these raids, I, I was the first person to kill a hero, and then I couldn't capitalise on it because I had not left myself the resilience to uh, kill off the healers. So I have, myself had gone with two healers, 
uh, Wilbur and two snipers. I think in future I should have gone with either Wilbur, a healer, and three snipers, or two two healers and a sniper, uh, and three snipers, sorry. I was basically short on firepower. Uh, the third raid, is that is that the fourth raid? I may have got this wrong. Nope, sorry, this is the fourth raid. Um, healer in the centre, took care of her fairly easily, and then worked my way across left and right, and uh, was able to defeat them all. Debuffer dealt with uh, Boreal, and Kirill himself, not too much trouble there. Uh, the other thing to mention, at least briefly, is that these guys and the other team here have both got lots of very leveled up four stars, which I simply do not have, and there's nothing much we can do about that. Uh, last team, um, again, it was a loss. Uh, it wasn't um, Cyprian in the middle. He was killed very, very quickly, very, very easily. Uh, I believe the main issue was a mixture of Luju and uh, Rigard. Rigard, uh, real pain. I just could not break him down. Um, so I think there was a lesson to be learned here that Rigard is particularly useful, uh, which I should have known because th thinking back to when I was largely doing four-star raid tournaments, I always used to regard Rigard as a particularly dangerous threat, uh, more so than Sabina and most of the other healers, simply because of his high armour. He is just very hard to finish off. So yes, I, I do apologise that I cannot show you the videos of those three defeats. Uh, I am taking ownership of them now and saying they were defeats, they were awful. They were my mistakes for taking the wrong team. Uh, I was relying too much on two healers and Wilbur, and it left me without the firepower I needed to break down the enemy healers. And I suppose that's the question of balance all the time. Uh, if your enemy is healer heavy, sometimes you have to say, well, actually, I'm gonna, I can't rely on healers, because if I rely on healers, it's just going to grind on and on and on until... Uh, either somebody dies of exhaustion or their team survives because the game is slightly rigged uh, on the defensive side. Only slightly, and as a human player, you can often get around that. But if you simply cannot beat their um, their healers and you just never clear them up, then you are going to fail, uh, which is exactly what happened to me. So there we go. So I do apologise that those videos are not available, but I do feel it's important that I take ownership of my mistakes. Um, if anybody has any advice or uh, suggestions on dealing with somebody like Rigard, who is evidently uh, a pain in the neck, uh, or just general advice for raids and raid tournaments, uh, as always, it would be massively appreciated. Uh, I always view my, uh, webs my YouTube videos as kind of a uh, a general slightly whimsical look at the world of empires and puzzles um, with a vague interest in offering advice and help. Um, but I accept and I fully accept that I'm not the greatest player in the game. Um, I like to think that I'm capable, but I am not the best. And today I think proved and reminded me of the fact that I'm A, not the best and B, the need for humility and consideration uh, when choosing one's team. So. Uh, there we are. So as I say, this is really an apologetic video. Um, it remains, therefore, for me to say, remember to tell you to subscribe, click like, uh, click the bu uh, little bell button to remind you when I'm on. Make comments. Tell me uh, Tell me what you would have done differently, uh, how you would have managed, uh, who you would have taken, because obviously I did not get it right today. I really did not. Uh, and I apologise, as I say, that I didn't actually show you my failings, because I did say I would try and take ownership of them and show them to everyone because you can learn an awful lot from your mistakes, uh, as anyone who has ever been in real life will tell you. Anyway, so peace out. This is Farmer Ben saying, uh, may death come swiftly to your enemies. Um, thank you as well, uh, just briefly, for my 52 subscribers, um, which is, is awesome. It's like half a century's worth of subscribers, so I'm very, very excited. Anyway, take care. Peace out. Farmer Ben saying au revoir, goodbye, auf Wiedersehen.